Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street Spoiler Bernie reflects on her secret son. Gemma realizes Bernie has been lying about her whereabouts and asks Dev to do some digging. Dev confronts Bernie, who crumbles. She admits that she had another son, Zodiac, Zach for short, who was taken into care. He was later adopted, changed his name to Christopher Green, and she's determined to find him. Meanwhile, Dee Dee takes a call from the CPS, informing her that they have some news regarding Lauren's phone messages. Dee Dee tells Carla and Nina about the messages which have come to light. Bethany listens, her mind a whirl. She then inveigles her way into the solicitors and locates Lauren's file on Dee Dee's desk. Elsewhere, Toya finds a forum for ex-members of the Altovalent Institute. She tries to show Lean a post she's seen, suggesting that the Institute is not to be trusted, only to discover it's been taken down for legal reasons. Lean's dismissive, but calls Rowan who makes out that his bitter ex wrote it, and there's no truth in her words. When Rowan reveals that he's been promoted to head of the Northwest Division, and offers her a tour of the Institute, Lean's flattered. Also today, Steve reads an article about Weatherfield County's plans to honor Tommy Orpington by commissioning a bust of him. Steve meets with Dimmy and proceeds to slag off Tommy. When Dimmy inquires why he hates him so much, Steve spills the beans about Tracy's affair. Finally, George apologizes to Glenda and hands her a check for £22,000 by way of a compromise, hoping it's an end to their feud.